It is. And now a little more about the story we brought you at the top of the hour from back under the sea. Take a look at the giant fossil of a sea reptile recently found in the middle of England in near pristine condition. This skeleton is thought to be about 180 million years old. And as Charlie Daggett shows us, it could help us understand our own future. It didn't look like much at first. A conservation team thought they found maybe an old broken pipe sticking out of the mud after draining a reservoir. But what Joe Davis stumbled upon has been described as one of the greatest fossil finds in the history of British paleontology. A lot of people spend their careers looking for something like this. My kids have now um, named me Jurassic. What Joe Rasick discovered lurking beneath the mud were the remains of a monumental 180 million year old beast, a beast paleontologist Dean Lomax has spent a career hunting down. Not only is this the, the largest ichthyosaur skeleton ever found in Britain, but it's also the, the largest complete skeleton of any prehistoric reptile found here in the, in the UK as well. Known as the sea dragon, the air-breathing apex predator ruled the seas like a huge bloodthirsty dolphin. Raising the monster from the deep was a complex and delicate operation that meant covering it up in plaster and transporting it to a warehouse. And here it is. And it is actually the length of a double-decker bus, around 33 feet long. The skull alone is more than six feet long and weighs nearly a ton. Paleontologist Nigel Larkin helped lead the excavation. What was going through your mind as you started to uncover these segments and thought, wow? We thought, is it going to be 10% complete, 20%? Hey, it could be 50% complete. So as we're digging away, it's just getting bigger and bigger. We couldn't believe it. Jackpot. Yeah, fantastic. A jackpot that goes far beyond what will eventually be a pretty impressive museum piece. What was the reason they died out? What can we learn? We can learn a lot from fossils generally. We can only predict future climate change by understanding past climate change and how animals like this adapted to climate change or failed to adapt. Unlocking the secrets of the deep and the deep past may help us learn to adapt to our own future. Charlie Daggett, Shrewsbury, England. It's extraordinary, it's a isn't it? Remarkable creature. Wow.